hello, Spoon313 here. Um, my camera doesn't have much battery, but I just wanted to make a very quick video um, about this box that I've just got through the post today. Um, and inside this box is a deluxe uh, Intel Socket 775 motherboard that apparently doesn't post. Um, so I'm going to get the box unwrapped and we'll just jump cut straight to that, otherwise my camera's probably going to die. Um, but yeah, apparently it doesn't post and they can't get it to work, so let's just quickly jump cut and get this box open and have a little butchers at our board, at this board. And uh, boom, there we are, here's the box. This is exactly how it was, I've only just quickly flipped the lid to have a quick look, but I haven't removed anything. Um, I was a bit dubious to actually... Get off, will you? <sighs> Idiot boy. Oh. Ouch. I was a bit dubious, or dubious, to uh, touch the package on the outside because it had quite a few hairs trapped under the sellotape, which is disgusting. Get off. Which was disgusting. Uh, but if we flip this open, that was how it was sent for me. Absolutely no protection for the board whatsoever. Yes, it may not work for them, but it doesn't mean it's not going to work for me. Um, but this actually uh, lowers my chances of actually getting this board to work. So I'm going to have a quick butchers at this board and see if there's anything wrong with it. Uh, and uh, I'll get straight back. Ah, there we are. Don't know what happened there. I had a black screen on my camera. Right, I'll try and do what I can. For some reason I can't touch the focus on my camera because I'm messing around. But okay, so... We had the board. Um, it's in fairly good order. I don't see any caps going on it. I mean, I, I did have uh, another board I was going to fix, but unfortunately, it broke, which happens sometimes. Uh, you can't win them all. Uh, my solder and iron wasn't. It was my new solder and iron. Just didn't seem to want to uh, melt the solder, and it ended up destroying a solder pad. So. It broke parts of the board, and I thought, oh well, it was only a naked board anyway. But hopefully I can get this one to post, even though they say it doesn't post. It's in so much good condition, I can't see why it won't, to be honest. Uh, you can see on the back, I don't have a back plate for this board, which is odd. Um, but I do have a little fan, which connects to the heat sinks and all that sort of thing. The CPU sockets have got a bit of dirt in it, so I'm going to have to clean that out. Um... <laughs> But it's an absolute beaut of a board, beautiful board, and it actually has its own uh, incorporated wireless card, which is kind of cool. Because I, I was hopefully if I can get this working, I was going to send it to Deval six six six, who sorry, laptop, who plays the games he plays on a laptop, but he doesn't play all the games. So I'm just going to build some that plays the rest of the ones that we do play on PC. And I was going to put one of these little things on it, an eight o two. INN wireless adapter, but obviously it won't need one if it's got one on board, so I'll keep that for later. Nice bit of kit that though, didn't cost me very much either. I got two of those for a couple of, for oh, uh, two for £3.58, so that's not bad, is it? Uh, with 388 postage. Interesting story about this board. Um, the buyer who I actually bought it off, the seller, sorry, that I bought it off of, was selling the board for £6. I got my bid in and won it, uh, and it was six. No, it was sorry. It was yeah, it's six pounds and about six pounds fifty postage. Either way, it's either one or the other. Um, and I paid the full amount. They said to me, "Thanks for your payment. We're going to uh, get this thing shipped out for you by Monday." I said, "That's fine." Um, and then Monday came and went. Got to Tuesday, and they said that we'd, they'd received the six pounds or six pounds fifty for the board, but they hadn't received the money for the postage. And I thought, hang on a minute, so, you know, so they said they wouldn't send it. So I thought, hang on a second there. I looked at my records and I had actually paid £12.50 on the date. So I said, uh, no, I don't think so. My records indicate I've paid for this board and I'm not about to send you an extra £6 or £6.50 without even a shred of proof. So anyway, uh, I sent a screenshot and you know, my proof and they said, oh yeah, sorry about the mistake. Uh, and they've just sent it to me. Now... I know they said it doesn't post, it's for parts not working. That doesn't always mean that a board is broken at all. Uh, but they could have done with packaging this a little better. And uh, my cat 
has discovered a funny smell on the box. Now, if I just move this beautiful, beautiful board over, I need to clean that socket. Look at all that dirt all over the CPU socket. I'm going to clean that. I'm just going to pop that on my wife's computer a minute. Now, like I say, it just arrived in this box, and my cat kept sniffing it and sniffing it, and you might see that it's all crinkled on one side. Now, I can't smell anything, my cat can, and I think that's probably animal piss. If it's not animal piss, you can, you can smell an animal on the box, because this, this, this whole box has been wet and soggy. You can see where the corrugated parts have all just... Oh, trust me, I know what a cardboard box is like when it's been wet and then it's dried. And I also know what it looks like when some when animal pisses on something. Um, so I'm not going to be keeping this box for anything in particular. But I am going to test this board and see if it posts. Uh, and then we'll, we'll get back and see if I actually get anywhere with this board. Fingers crossed, because I'd love to get this working. Right then, just quickly before my battery dies on this camera and I need to charge it properly. Here's the power supply. Oh. <clears throat> There's my power supply tester. Plugged in. Uh, the pin was the pin that it was talking about online was a little squash, but I got it open and it, it works pretty damn well. Um, I've just connected up the little fan piece with the Molex connector, and all I'm gonna do is just flick it on and you'll hear it's loud, but like I said, once I connect that the controller to a board it'll regulate it. So it's a very, very loud, but it works. <sighs> and it's a Mr. Green light, see? Ta -da. It's a full pass. And I have run a board with it, which is actually in this machine, but this machine, uh, the board in here, which is the one I showed online, that has an 8 pin CPU connector, so it won't work with a 4 pin. It doesn't get enough power to the CPU. You could touch everything in there and it'll be freezing cold because it just does not have enough power to even power up to get hot. So yeah, she's very loud, but she passes and bypassing the fan. Uh, it's keeping this running for a lot longer, so let's flick that off. And what little power... Uh, my CPU tester switched off now, see? There we are. So yeah, just a little bypass. That's done that a world of good. I'm back. Hello there, Spoon313 here. Hi. Um, just a quick update on uh, this machine here. Um, obviously, we're not going to talk about this one at the moment. But this machine here is a machine that uh, I'm, at the moment, in the middle of building for uh, a friend of my brother's. So he can play Star Trek and things with us with parts of, you know, the parts I've got left over. And what, I want, what I'm planning to put in this machine... More, than, more to the point is the 600 watt power supply that I showed in my gaming acquisitions video recently. Um, what I've done, as I did mention in the other video, is that I've uh, taken out the fan that was in it before because it was broken and replaced it with a CPU fan which uh, has a speed controller on it and voltage regulator. But obviously, the original fan doesn't, it just had a you know a plus and negative uh, live and neutral feed to it for DC 12 volts and that was it and uh, I've made a piece on the back to try and run it and it wasn't working the way I wanted to so I've changed it and what I've done is I went through my drawers there we go I went through my drawers and I found this little unit which uh, didn't work so I checked it all out there it is that's an Acasa fan controller junior with two USB 2.0s on it it can control three fans at once uh, and it wasn't working because um, I've got to turn this thing around. Hang on, it wasn't working. I have to use my thumb to point out. Right, let's just let it focus in a bit when it wants to. Ah, there we go. Now this little this little plug here was actually missing, and that's what uh, powers this little device with 12 volts. Um, all it had was this cable here. I'm not sure if this USB one's going to work yet. I'm not entirely worried about that, but I think I'll get that working. I might have to chop it to get the wires around the right way. Um, yes, this was missing. Uh, it actually had a um, a little sleeve on it for a, a much smaller 2-pin 12-volt connection uh, on it. But I, obviously the lead 
to go into that was missing so what I did was this this little plug here was actually what was inside of the power supply which used to run the old fan in there which I've now bypassed so I had the, as the assembly on that ready to use for something else so what I did was pull the original small one off of this glued the cradle on and then soldered the original plug to a Molex connector which you'll see here in this crap and basically now this can run actually regulate the speed of the fan on the power supply bear in mind all this is off the top of my head I don't script anything I I film I find it more fun so yes yeah, so the piece coming out now is literally just connected directly to this I will put some insulation tape around that to help it now what I've done while I said the PC's running I've just pulled the power cable it's gonna keep falling off till I grab it I've just pulled the power cable out of the screen so I can use it in this so if I flick this on it runs and you can hear already that it's much quieter now I've got this I've got this connected to number three and you'll hear the difference see so I can run that fan right down now nice and quiet or I can run it like a speed demon I have it about about there that's quite nice so yes it's working it's ready and it's going to be going in this machine and I'm just waiting for an item to come through so I can actually send power to the CPU because this machine itself let me just scroll up the screen here I've had to get one of these an 8 pin male so, it, so we get a 4 pin female connector to an 8 pin male so I can connect the 4 pin CPU to 8 pin because it's got an 8 pin socket on the board so it needs that extra power for the CPU so that's what I'm going to do I might quickly just uh, show the board that's in the machine it's the one that was actually online that I bought from someone that sent me it in in my estimation a piss soap box I haven't given them any feedback yet but uh, purchase history but it's actually in that case now that case is an old case but it's a big case it's got good airflow in it there it is this one here let me just zoom in a bit Asus PK5 LG A775 socket T and it's a deluxe DDR2 motherboard uh, it's got my old uh, 2.3 core 2 core 2 duo quad in it which used to be in my Dell before I upgraded it and it's got uh, 4 gigabytes of 6400U RAM in it because I haven't got any more but the 6400U is quite good so I'll put that in there and I'm going to put my monster graphics card that's actually inside my Dell at the moment it's a big GDR, GDDR5 card it's 1 gigabyte but it's really good and uh, it runs Star Trek and other games that we want to play really fine so yes I'm going to take the side panel off this machine and show you what's inside it um, just to make this video a little bit more interesting but I'm going to first put that power supply in um, but I'm not going to be able to boot the computer up because as of the moment it doesn't work well I did buy the motherboard as faulty as it didn't post but if those people didn't have an 8 pin CPU connector that's probably why they didn't get anywhere with it so fingers crossed that this can be a living breathing computer for uh, a friend of my brother's okay Ah, right, I'm just going to quickly show you the motherboard inside the old case. The case might be old, but the motherboard, well, it's senior in its years, but it's not what I'd call old. Um, it's a PSK Premium Deluxe motherboard. It's a uh, Socket 775. It's a quad core. Um, the board's capable of up to 16 gigabytes of RAM, actually. It's one of the only boards that can get 16, I think. Or was that one I was looking at online? I think that was another one I was looking on at line, actually. But this one can get up to 8 gigabytes of uh, DDR2-800. Um, and obviously the maximum CPU you can get in a DDR2 machine like this. Uh, quad core is 3 gigahertz. Uh, this one's got a 2.33. Um, it's not going to be used for massive online games. It's just going to be used for like uh, Star Trek Online, Trove, and other free games that you play that don't need too much power, but are still you know really good quality games you need a fairly decent computer to play them on um which uh my brother's friend has only been able to play on a laptop that belongs to someone else and it's absolutely diabolical anyway so yes it actually has uh 
two PCIe Express 16 slots, PCIe 2.0. So this computer can do SLI. Um, I don't have two cards to do that. Or well, I do, but I'm not putting them in here. Um, I've, I've actually put four gigabytes of uh, DDR2-6400U in here, ready to go. Um, and it's got my 2.33 processor in it with a cool master heatsink on there. Um, the only thing, I, I haven't actually got this board to actually boot up yet. And I think it's something to do with, if, I, if you can see this, if it's going to be a bit dark, I do apologise. Let's see if I can zoom in a bit. And I've got a torch here, so I'll see if I can throw a bit of light on it. Woo! There it is. See that? It's an 8-pin CPU adapter. Now, this CPU adapter... Let me see if I can focus a bit more. This CPU adapter will not work with just 4-pin. And people will say, well, it should work with just 4-pins. But then if it works with 4-pins, why have 8? You know? You just shouldn't need 8. If it works with 4, it'll only be 4, won't it? If it's got 8, it's because the board needs extra power for the CPU. So, until I get this adapter sent through the post, um, this is about as far as I can go with this PC. Um, it's going to have a 320 gig hard drive in it, because I, you know, with the 3 that I bought for 15 quid. Um, all I'm going to do is just quickly fix this fan into the front here, which I've actually, actually repaired and managed to get to work. You can see my connection blocks and bits and bobs going on there. Um, I had to give it up yesterday because I was in way too much pain to carry on. I overdid it and it was really, really bad. So, yeah. So there we go. So that's just showing you a little bit of the board. And I'm going to end the video here. But anyway, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll bring you more messing around with computers and bits and bobs that I've done for freaking over a decade or more. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Ta-ta!